Hi everyone. So the last prompt for the 29th is carousel. That's an interesting prompt. Because I have no idea what to do. I was thinking about it, and of course the obvious thing to do would be to draw some sort of carousel horse, but it's just not my thing. And I, I want to do like a pattern. I'm thinking, well, first off, let me pick a piece of paper. I picked this bright purple, super thick cardstock. You guys can't even tell the color because it looks different up against the pink, but it's a purple. Maybe if I stick a piece of white paper under it, you can see what color it is. There. That's a little better. It's a purple. I, I, I equate purple with circus and carousel and things. I know it's going to be weird, but I'm thinking, you know, up in the you know, the, ha the the horses are going around in circles, and then there's that middle bit that's always got all these shiny, sparkly, very ornate, I was going to say gaudy, but that, that's not the word I meant, ornate, a very ornate thing in the middle, like, let's see, there's a piece of paper I can use as a scratch pad here, this will work grab paper out of the trash okay so I'm thinking that usually the, the the carousel is looking like this a bit like a like like a birthday cake and it's got a thing here and your little horses and your characters are are here going around around and in the middle bit in the middle bit there's usually this really ornate thing right here in the middle does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Anyway, I'm waffling on. Uh, I was thinking maybe I want to do one of those decorations. Like perhaps... I'm going to be inspired by carousels. But I'm not going to draw a carousel horse. Like perhaps... Really ornate. Coming out, I'm going to go like this, and like this. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Probably not. But I am going to use this as inspiration to come out and around, and up and around. wind is really starting to pick up now. Like that. Around. And around. Like this. And then around like that. Something like that. That's where I'm going to start. Um, this size. So I'm going to come around like this and make a, like a frame. Now this may not be anything even remotely close to that decoration that I that is in the middle, but this is what I seem to remember from my childhood. Something like that. And then we're going to just go ahead and just really make a thing out of it here.
then inside here, I'm thinking it's going to have a mirrored bit. It's kind of like a prism. And it's shining lots of, of bits coming out this way. And then there's dots. Maybe. And then there's some kind of I don't know, more of a f another curly bit here. I seem to have I seem to have not got as much room on one side as I have on the other. But that's okay. Um, and perhaps in here is going to be the, I, I'm not good with critters. They are not the thing that carousel horses are pretty uh, basic. There we go. Something like that. And then I am going to give it, I'm going to give it sparkles. How do I give it sparkles? What do I have that I can give it sparkles? Um, I have anything sparkly? She says skeptically. Metallic paints. Maybe I'll come over here and grab my metallic paints and a very tiny paintbrush. A little tiny paintbrush, a couple of metallic paints. Uh, where are they? They're on the other side. Those are my gloss paints. Where are my metallics? Where are my metallics? Oh yes, I put them in this box because we traveled with them. Let's see. Um, let's do this color and this color and this color. make I grab myself my high-tech palette yes I often use a paper plate with some aluminum foil and get some jewel toned colors here I don't need much paint I'm going to need just the smallest amount come on And this. 
this. Ooh, that one's kind of right. It needs to be mixed. Ooh. And that one. Okay. Oh, and I'm going to need some water to chain it. To clean my brush off. Uh, water cup. Throw a little of my drinking water in there. Paper towel. Oh, look at there. It's amazing what you have in your art room, right? Now see if I was drawing on the go or somewhere else and I didn't have all my supplies, that would make me sad. Okay, let's just do just the tiniest bit of color. In here. This paintbrush is almost too big. Do I have a smaller one? I may have to go look. You know what else I have? I have iridescent medium. Wonder where that went. That's really shiny too. Um, have I got a thinner brush? That one's almost too big. brushes everywhere. You guys don't even know how messy my room is at the moment. I have brushes everywhere. Oh, those are tiny brushes. Maybe that one. That's a nice little brush. Wait, let's try this one. Much better. So I went from a size triple zero to a 10 over zero. What the difference is, I don't know, but these are low Cornell brand. I don't know where they came from. I inherited them. My mother, um, did some helped out a, a a good friend of hers in her latter years and when she passed the family asked if there was there was all sorts of stuff the 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 son lived overseas somewhere i don't recall exactly where i want to say Scotland or the Netherlands or something. Any in, in any case, that's not the point. Point is, is other than a few uh, family mementos, um, he did not want most of her belongings, and for a long time she was a a painter, and she had these beautiful brushes, a whole big, huge set of brushes, and I inherited them, and I'm grateful for them. Even those little tiny blobs I put on here is more paint than I needed, but that's okay. Clean the brush. And let's switch to this color, I want my, this outer bit to be green, I think. Don't, don't usually paint on my channel. Uh, and for sure, I've never, I don't think I've ever painted using any kind of acrylics on here. So this is something new. I'm going to go with this little swirl 
here as well. But yeah, apparently she used to do um, toll painting, which I've never gotten into. But one stroke toll painting, and you need a lot of different sizes of brushes for that. And very specific brushes that are soft and flexible. It's like, it's kind of like doing calligraphy with, with paint. And so these brushes are completely different than the brushes I had for my regular, like if I were to paint on canvas, this, this brush would be too uh, soft and it wouldn't give me the hold that I need to stand up to a, to a canvas, but these are beautiful for this. And I take care of them. They will last me for decades. Hopefully I'm still around for decades more. That would be good. But you never know. You don't know what the future lies, right? Could be gone tomorrow. There we go. Let's see? It's shiny. It's very pretty. I like it. Uh, I think I want my little post to be this green color. And then maybe the, the hair of my horse. Okay. And I think I want my horse to be gold. Oh no, I just stuck my finger in it. See, that's why I don't paint on my channel. I just stuck my finger in my paint. There's no way to really fix that. Ay, ay, ay. Oh well, mistakes happen. Maybe we'll cover that with something else. This gold isn't working that well. The other colors worked really well. This gold, not so much. I'm not as happy with it. It will do. But see, I stuck my finger in it down here. That's sad. Okay, let me let me see if I can find my iridescent medium because I really like that. Uh, right here. Look at that. Right on top, because I use it for... Mix it into my other acrylic paints. It's really cool. It's a bit thick, though. And then... Go back to the bigger, bigger brush. It's not exactly a big brush, but it's a bigger brush. Because I need more water in this medium. I need to mix it up a bit. It's gone a little chunky. Started to dry out. I haven't used it in a while. I'm going to see if I can kind of disguise my mess hair by putting an iridescent medium. in these corners.
it's kind of clear, but it's kind of not. It's, I don't know. It's, it's, it's interesting stuff. It's not coming off my brush. Make it sparkly. Can I see where I've been? No, not really. I just have to... I'll have to tilt it up into the light so I can see where I've been. like that. Can you guys see any of what I'm doing? I don't know if you can. I will I will pick it up and tilt it around when I'm done. So you can see all my sparkly bits. I like this better than than glitter because it's already uh, encased in the medium so it doesn't flake off. It just is sparkly. Okay, and then I need to sign and put my October I ink. I fix this spot here, maybe, and this spot here that I overdrew with the paint. Put his eye back in. Yeah, it looks good. Good enough. Good enough. Okay. Here you guys go. See? Very sparkly. But you have to get it into the right light. But see how the iridescent medium is even more iridescent than the metallic paints? I thought the metallic paints were shiny. But now that the iridescent medium is there, the metallic paints have gone almost dull. But that's cool. I like that. Came out good. I'm happy. Hope you're happy. Um, don't know where we're going to go next. But... I there's there's some things I want to do and I really 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 need my just my things to arrive so I can do what I want to do but that's okay whatever there we go let me let me tilt it up this way ah that's better now you can really see the shiny bits all right I hope you guys have a great day hope you had an awesome October um, Halloween will be in a couple of days. So if you are a f somebody who um, enjoys that holiday season, then uh, I, I wish you well. It's not my favorite, but, you know, I, I can see the appeal. I've, I've, I've been there, done that. It's not, I guess I'm getting old. I don't know. It, it, it's never really been my, my holiday of choice. When my son was little, we we did up the whole thing, but it's never been my holiday of choice. Um, but anyway, if it's yours, that's awesome. You know, you do you, boo-boo. I'll do me. And uh, we will see each other in November. You guys have a great day. Do something nice for someone today, okay? Bye-bye.